Alrighty, so we were here just yesterday and we saw two muskrats. One of them looked bigger than the other, quite a bit bigger than the other, and had gray on its face. Usually the ones with gray on their face, they're, I, I assume they're older. I don't really know, but I've always assumed they were older. They tend to be bigger too. Well, we caught the smaller one, took it home, weighed it, and it was actually a pretty big muskrat. It was uh, 1,132, I think it was, grams, 1,132. I consider anything 1,000 grams and up a big muskrat. Not humongous, I've caught bigger. I'd say anything over 1,200 grams is, is really big. Pretty dang good sized muskrat. Well, the one that hopefully is still here that we left yesterday looked a lot bigger. So I'm anxious to see, is it really that much bigger and how big is it? Now, if you remember earlier in the year, the one muskrat Boone ever quit on was a really big muskrat. I think it was 1,300 and something grams, if I remember right. So it'll be interesting to see, number one, is this one bigger than that or just as big? And number two, will Boone catch and kill it? And I guess number three, is it even here? <laughs> we might put Boone down, and who knows where it is. He left the country because we, we chased him yesterday. So anyway, let's find out what happens. Interesting view, I'm sure. What's he girl? So he's gonna smell around. He's in the hole now. And he went to a hole just now. Just watch to see the rack over. Sorry. Oh, there it is. Turn around, dude. I don't want you going there. There he goes. Goes back in. I tried to give you a little friendly splash. Crap, I hope you didn't catch it on the ground now. Scrap. There it is. Okay, you didn't do it. The water is so muddy now, babe. Where'd he go? He didn't sneak up. He went up there. Here it comes. Go that way, dude. Boom. There he, yep, he's out here. <laughs> Just past him. It's that way. Here, Boone. Here, 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 here. Do you see him up here? Right I don't. Oh, I see him. Right there. Good 
boy. Good boy, there he is. There he is, yeah, he sees him. Good boy. Maybe not. Here, 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 here. Here, 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 here. There you go, now he sees him. Maybe not. Boone. Boone. Here, 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 here. Do you see the muskrat? Here, 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 here. Right here. Over here. I see it. Right there. See how long Snorkel, I think. No, here he comes. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> here, here, here. No, nope. lost it. Right on it. Oh, oh, he turned. Probably should have stayed out of. Don't let him go because he'll bite the crap out of me, sir. Yeah, good job. Good job. Keep your hold on in here. Come out here, Mikey. That's a good job, sir. Good job, Mr. Meek. Good job, Mr. Meek. That's a good job, yeah. Is that the one we saw? Yesterday. Hopefully. Listen carefully and you can hear the moment Boone's canine punctures the muskrat's skull, causing an instant death. The rhythmic twitching afterwards shows that the muskrat is completely dead. Good job, Mr. Boone. This guy sure gave us a run for our money, didn't he? This it looks pretty big. We weighed this beast of a muskrat and found that it weighed a total of 1,378 grams. That's well over three times the weight of an average New York City rat, and 57 grams larger than the giant muskrat that intimidated Boone earlier in the season. In fact, this muskrat was even bigger than Boone. Boone's working weight is typically somewhere between 1,250 and 1,330 grams. Good job, Mr. Boone. That's a good boy. That's such a good mink. Yeah, that's such a good mink. You did an excellent job. You did an excellent job, sir. Yeah, you did an excellent job. Okay, let's go in your box. Do you want to go in your box and finish it? Go in your box. There you go. Good job. Good mink. That's such a good mink. Yeah, that's such a good boy. So that was a fun little chase. That was a hard one to catch. We, 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 we really kind of herded it and helped a little more than we maybe needed to but the main reason so you guys understand what's going on i don't want it to go in the hole and get caught because there's a it just adds complication to the whole deal you know if the mink doesn't bring it back it's annoying and we've got to go through all this effort so i would prefer it gets caught out here where it's you know easy to keep a hold of so when i'm throwing those rocks at the muskrat i'm not trying to hit the muskrat i'm trying to do one of two things i'm either trying to make the mink aware of where the muskrat is and say hey the muskrat's over here because when he hears that splash he knows that means that's where the muskrat or whatever we're after is second thing i'm trying to do is sometimes i'll throw a bigger rock or a bunch of rocks at once 
What I'm trying to do at that point is to turn the muskrat. I want it to go the other way. I don't want it to go in the hole. So you guys understand what I'm doing. That's both communication with the mink as well as trying to control where the muskrat goes. I'm sure you guys are familiar with YouTube censorship. They've got some serious censorship issues going on in YouTube and their policies are constantly changing. So I created the Mink Man's Exclusive Club where I can share these exclusive videos as well as give you guys a more behind the scenes look at our lives and how we train our animals. In YouTube, you guys see one or two videos a week, whereas I'm typically posting anywhere from three to six videos a week on my Mink Man's exclusive club. Now this club is more than just videos. People can ask me questions directly. They could even send me private messages. I can also share interesting stories that maybe I didn't capture on video. I can share interesting statistics on my different mink or dogs and really just give you guys an inside look on what we do and on my animals' lives. I really appreciate you following me here on YouTube, but if you want to get a behind the scenes look and be able to watch these exclusive videos that YouTube censors out, you'll need to join us on Mink Man's exclusive club.